The best high-end AV receiver for 2022 is sure to revolutionize the way you watch your favorite TV shows and movies. With its robust feature set, this receiver is perfect for anyone who wants to improve their audio and video experience. Links have been included in the description box. Now let's get going. Let's begin our review of the best high-end receivers with the Marantz SR815. Like the entire top series for this brand, the Marantz SR815 is designed to deliver an amazing home theater experience. There are 11 channels in this model, with 140 watt at 8 ohm and 175 watt at 6 ohm. A surround decoder mode is also available with 13.2 channel processing. An amplifier with such power is similar to the Denon AVR-X 6700H, its direct competitor. HDM modules, an AKM K4458, a 32-bit DAC, are used in this device. This is similar to Yamaha CX A5200, where I noticed the ESS Sabre PRO Premier processor. HDM modules, however, improved the sound of the SR815. In addition, the SR815 supports several modern DPS, including Dolby Atmos and DTS-X as well as Dolby Atmos and DTS Virtual, excelling speaker virtualization. It has been mentioned previously that such a decoder set is essential for high and AV receivers. You should also pay attention to the existence of some features on the box, a Max Enhanced and Aura 3D. Additionally, the SR815 offers HDMI 8K support, HDR10 Plus compatibility, and 8K 60HZ, 4K at 120HZ video streams. I started our test with the movie Inception. It produced a fantastic, clear, and understandable sound. Dynamic sound and detail were flawless. I was able to sense the natural influence of presence through these nuances. As a result of the percentage dynamics, the impacts may also be felt physically. There might be a bit more bass, for example, as well as in testing musical features. The sound quality was again audiophile. My spatial perception was realistic. The low frequency bands, however, decreased again. Based on my testing, I can confidently call this model the best 11.2 receiver. Marantz's SR815 is a system that simultaneously appeals to audio and home theater enthusiasts. The low latency gaming mode also ensures players get the latest technology on a modern platform that has no restrictions over time, and eARC allows high-resolution audio to be transmitted from screen to receiver when additional sources are available over 8K. Next, I'll review Denon AVR-X6700H, one of the best receivers. This unit contains an amplifier with 11 channels and dual subwoofer outputs with 140W at 8 ohm or 175W at 6 ohm. As a result, the AVR-X6700H is capable of powering 7.2-4 speakers. As compared to above-mentioned Marantz SR815, the most exciting feature of X6700H is its DAC design. There are two dual SHR chips, two AL32, high-definition filter, and four DSP cores in it. Dolby Atmos and DTS-X can be used more efficiently with such a design. In addition, the unit has Dolby Atmos height and DTS Virtual-X and even decodes Oro 3D tracks for virtualizing ceiling speakers. I will then consider a video path that meets all modern requirements. Video streams of 8K at 60Hz and 4K at 120Hz can be handled by the Denon AVR-X6700H. Using Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus technologies, the receiver aims to provide next-generation video processing. Additionally, all HDMI connections are compliant with HECP 2.3. Additionally, it supports Spotify, Amazon Music HD, Tidal, and Deezer streaming services. With Google Assistant, Alexa, or Siri. I could even control the receiver with my voice. As I watched the movie, I noticed that this receiver had good dynamics. There's a sense of control and organization to the sound. In some scenes, there's some hum in the room caused by the additional volume of bass. Although it helps to receive a complete and realistic reproduction of voices, it is also capable of shaking the room if necessary. Listening to music, however, is a completely different experience. There's something compelling about the sound. In terms of power, the non is incredibly precise and sure. The bass-favored balance of the sound stage caused significant discomfort. 
In spite of the fact that all voices and dialogues were well represented, there were too many low frequencies. Pure direct mode may even allow you to estimate the model's audio capabilities. There's a sense of balance in the instrumental section of the songs. The instruments are distinct and do not blend into cacophonies. Moreover, I was impressed by the sound stage's detail and expressive dynamics. Both movie lovers and music lovers with gamers will find plenty to enjoy on the Dana AVR X6700H. Within 5 to 10 years after the top hi-fi receiver's life, 8K content will be available and will include a powerful amplifier. At number 3 is Danon AVR Z8500H. There is an overgrowth in the media industry. Danon's AVR Z8500H is one of the few 13-channel receivers available. Each channel of this model includes specially designed DHCT amplifiers rated at 150W at 8 ohm or 190W at 6 ohm. Dolby Atmos or DTS, for example, allow high-quality sound without any additional amplification. Additionally, the AVR Z8500H supports the Oro 3D decoder and 13.1 channel configuration, including overhead and vertical channels. As far as visual output is concerned, the receiver supports 4K and 8K streams. This sets it apart from its closest competitor, the Marantz of 8805, which does not support 8K. The Denon AVR Z8500H also incorporates HDCP 2.2 as well as HLG for HDR. With unlimited wireless Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Apple AirPlay streaming, and wireless audio technologies, the AVR Z8500H may quickly become a home networking hub. Aside from power on-off, volume, mute and mute, play music pause, switch external inputs, and play streaming services that I supported, I could also use Amazon Alexa voice command to manage many tasks. AVR Z8500H is part of the in-command series of custom integration compatible series. Several features provide enhanced control and compatibility with third-party and custom integration solutions. It also integrates with major third-party management devices and has a control for SDDP certificate. I suggest you start testing as soon as possible. Upon testing a movie, I realized the receiver's acoustic reactivity characterized it. In this way, the effects of sound become clear and accurate, particularly with Dolby Atmos setup. I was able to detect sounds traveling in different directions quite well, enhancing the feeling of immersion and realism. The AVR's 8500H delivers a broad, deep, and dramatic sound picture for music reproduction. No matter what the soundtrack, the receiver keeps control and nearly creates no distortion. I was impressed by the Denon AVR Z8500, which combines a top-of-the-line surround sound decoder with an excellent amplifier. The best 13-channel home theater receiver has everything you need. At number 4 is Marantz of 8805. Of 8805 supports Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and Aura. 3D for outstanding immersive sound setups of 13.2 to 7.16 or 9.14. Acoustic calibration and Odyssey Platinum DSP optimization deliver special equalization. Compared to the Denon AVR Z8500H, this system has one feature XLR, which allows longer cables to be used without interfering with the receiver. Audio and video components in the merits of 8805 are of the highest quality. With advanced processing, this device can accept audio and video feeds from several sources. Digital video strips can be upgraded to 1000A type or even UHD 4K using the integrated video processor. All HDMI outputs are affected by this. Further, all are compatible with Ultra HD 4K at 60Hz and HDR, Dolby Vision, HLG, HDR10. As a result, the receiver is compatible with Ultra HD Blu-ray discs and streaming services, Netflix, Amazon, as with other receivers in this category. The Marantz of 8805 is fully compatible with HeOS. Additionally, Spotify, TuneIn, Zook, Tidal, Napster, Deezer, Apple AirPlay, SoundCloud, and Amazon Prime Music are all supported. Using the Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant, I was even able to control the receiver's essential functions. Without delay, the receiver recognized this as a great option and began using it as the primary method of control. As always, it was put to the test. I was impressed by the receiver's ability to produce a refined and neutral sound. Despite all this, he created a realistic sound stage. 
there was a good sense of volumetric space in which the effects moved. Stereo sound was great, but not perfect. The sound was transparent without distortion. Even at high volumes, with solid highs and mids, even at lower signal levels, the receiver played dynamically. And even when listening to music, I felt depth and spaciousness. With this outstanding receiver, you can create a 13-channel surround sound system that supports all modern surround formats. Due to this, it is a better choice for both home theaters and audio rooms. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.